Hi everyone, my name is Miss Charlie and I'm a children's librarian at the Columbus Public Library. Today we're going to be doing story time from my home. And boy do we have a story time for you today. Before we get started, I always like to start with a nice warm up song to get ready to read a book. And today what we're going to do is, well, it's a song that involves two hand motions. So the first hand motion we're gonna need for this song, can you take your hands and make glasses and put them up against your face? A pair of reading glasses, good job. Now, the second hand motion that we're gonna use for this opening song, can you take your hands, put them together like this, and spread them apart to make a book? Can you open that book and close that book? Open that book and close that book. Those are gonna be our two hand motions. So, here we go. These are glasses, this is our book. We put on our glasses and open up our book. We read, 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 and we look, look, look. We put down our glasses and close up our book. Good job. Do you want to try it one more time? I think it's always better the second time. Here we go. These are our glasses. This is our book. We put on our glasses and open up our book. We read, 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 and we look, look, look. We put down our glasses and Close up our book. Good job. All right, friends, I think it's time to read a book. And I have a very special book for you today. This book is called My Dad at the Zoo. Ooh, do you think we should read it? I think we should read it. All right, can you put on your listening ears? Can you put on your listening ears? We're gonna read our book. My Dad at the Zoo by Coralie Sato. Most of the time my dad is really great, cuddly even, when he wants to be. But Sunday mornings usually start out like this. Everybody up! I want to go to the zoo! Do 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 I'm still sleepy, but Dad doesn't care. He throws me onto his back and he does the galloping camel all the way to the zoo. I have to admit, it's pretty funny. But standing in line for the tickets isn't funny at all. Dad bounces around and he squirms every which way. And the longer that we wait, the more ideas he has about how to cut the line, like shouting, I have to pee! Let me in! Uh-oh, and look. Oh, he looks a little embarrassed. Oh, you see this person's giving his dad the side eye? And oh no, look, the lion right there too is like, what did he say? <laughs> Once inside, the chase begins. Wait up, dad! But dad is way too busy to pay any attention to me. He's grimacing at the gorillas. He's flirting with the flamingos. He's pattering like the penguins and he's terrorizing the turtles. And then suddenly, I don't see him anymore. Whew. I found him. But where, you ask? In front of the ice cream vendor, of course. It's not even snack time yet, but it's clearly time for a meltdown. Son, I want ice cream. I try to explain that it's still too early for ice cream, but Dad just rolls around on the ground turning red with rage. Quick, I need a plan to distract him. Hey, look, Dad, a porcupine's escaping. He's going that way. Oh, success. Dad forgets all about the ice cream. I like to call that redirecting. And for two whole minutes, we look for that imaginary porcupine. And then dad spots his favorite animal. 
And then he tips his hat and says, hello. And the elephant reaches out and he grabs that hat. Dad cracks up, but not me. That must be like the eighth hat that he's lost at the zoo. But wait a second. I see a lot of hats on this page. I think we should count it. There's the one in his hand, but look, there's one on the elephant's head too. And what's this back here? It's a whole hat rack and there's more. There's three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight hats, dad, what are you doing? Come on, mom's not gonna like that. Next, we watch the sea lion show and the piranha feeding. Ooh. Dad, stop, don't. Finally, it's snack time. And snack time's important. Can't skip snack time. We sit down, but Dad can't keep still. What's he doing? Is he doing a handstand on the bench? Says right here, splat. <gasps> well, there goes the ice cream. <sighs> oh well, one more for the ant. Dad, we're not getting you another one. That's the only ice cream you're getting. At last, it's time to say goodbye to all of the animals. See, look, they're waving. The chameleons, the tapers, the parrots. Dad doesn't want to miss anyone, so we go through the entire zoo one more time to say goodbye. I am exhausted. Oh, but the worst is still to come. The souvenir shop. Oh, I hold Dad's hand with all my might, trying to keep him from going in, but Dad is still bigger and stronger than me. He makes a beeline for the stuffed pigeons, and then he screams, it's so cute. No, 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 Dad. I will not give in. You already have a bunch of stuffed animals at home, and you don't even play with them. We can't do that. Put it back. Dad starts to sulk. Oh, that means he's kind of sad walking away. Oh, look. And the galloping camel has turned into a sluggish snail. Well, that's not very much fun. And me, I am wiped out. That means he's also very, very tired. I mean, it's true, my dad is really great and he's cuddly, really, he is. But Sundays at the zoo are no picnic. So the next time we come, I think I'll just leave him here. It says right here, see ya dad. That'll teach him. The end, a round of applause, a round of applause. Wow, that's a very silly dad. Whew. I'm glad we got through that book. Whew. Dad, that was exhausting. Raise your hand if you have a silly dad. I know I do. Fun fact, definitely where I got my sense of humor from and my weirdness from, so thanks, Dad. All right, friends, before we say goodbye, why don't we say goodbye? We could sing goodbye. And we're gonna do that with the handy dandy ukulele. I love to sing my song, see you later alligator. I like to use ukulele. And fun fact, I'm not very good at it, but it really doesn't matter because I really enjoy playing it. I'm gonna play the ukulele very poorly and we're gonna sing together the goodbye song, see you later alligator. So here we go. It's time to be done now, story time is through. Let's say our goodbyes till the day is new. Repeat after me. See you later, alligator. Bye-bye, butterfly. Banana shake the little snake. See you soon, raccoon. One more time.
video, make sure that you join in and watch all the other fun programs that we have coming your way. And in the meantime, remember to read. You can read anytime, anywhere, anything to anyone. Just make sure that you go out and read. My name is Miss Charlie. I'll see you next time. Bye. We are springing into summer learning at the Chattahoochee Valley Libraries, and the program you just attended is one of the ways you can earn completions. Just go to cvlga.org and look for Spring into Summer Learning. You can register yourself and your family online, and then start reading and attending our online events. That's all you have to do. We're giving away weekly gift certificates, and every completion you make enters you into a grand prize drawing for tablets, games, gifts, and more. Remember, you have to register to win, cvlga.org, and we'll see you online again real soon.